Hey everybody, what's going on today? I hope everybody's having an amazing day. It's uh, kind of winding down a little bit. <clears throat> the sun is going down here where I am and for some of you the sun is already down and for some of you you still have a few more hours of daylight. Uh, for me where I am it's been a beautiful day today. I'm very thankful to Hashem for another day of life, another day of happiness and joy. Even in the midst of the struggles which are every moment, the inner war of Gog and Magog between our ears, very difficult. But as we like to say in Amuna Nation, Amuna.com, we're in it to win it. So I wanted to remind you that if you're nothing, you're also everything. So I actually have a couple of students, only two, um, and one visited me. He came all the way from Jerusalem via Florida, not far from Orlando, but not Orlando. He just got out of the IDF uh, this summer and he's an amazing young man. He's an amazing young man. And he came to visit me in the middle of nowhere, in very deep Galut. And we had Shabbat. He came with his wife. And it was an amazing time, very uplifting for everyone. And we had a great talk. And this man has amazing abilities. He has abilities that I want to have, meditation-wise. Uh, he's a very deep soul. He's a very young man in this Gilgul. But in, in terms of power and elevation of his soul, he is amazing, I'm telling you. Um, Rav Dror once met him and referred to him as king. Um, he wouldn't remember that, but I remember I was there. I remember how kindly Dror greeted my friend. It was so beautiful. But he was sharing some of his difficulties and yet also sharing how he's able to go from place to place in his mind in a way that I think we would all like to achieve. I know I would like to achieve. And he has amazing difficulties. He has amazing physical problems that aren't even physical. They're completely spiritual as far as he can tell, as far as he really understands. And he has amazing powers and abilities. It's like nothing I've ever seen or heard of before. And I was encouraging him to focus and use his powers for good, of course, and to stay off the negative. And I know he's trying. I was also encouraging, encouraging him to be a young man in this Gilgul, because in this Gilgul he is a young man. I know it's difficult for him because his soul is very old. After all this amazing thing and telling him about his abilities and he wants to have a child and all these things and he's rebuilding his marriage, he looked at me and he said, but I'm nobody. And I said, wow, no, I'm sorry. I'm going to dispute you on that. You're not nobody at all. You're an amazing somebody. And like I have to say to myself sometimes, more often than I will admit to you, I'm an amazing somebody. I have tremendous difficulties and I'm an amazing somebody. And I had to tell my student, you're an amazing person. If you want to say you're nothing, okay, maybe that's a little different. But don't say you're nobody. If you want to be nothing, okay, you can try to be nothing. You can try very hard and work 
to connect to Ain Sof, which is the great nothing. I'm just trying to connect to Hashem and try to maybe want to know Hashem. Much less trying to tap into wanting to know Ain Sof, which is really not knowable in this existence. But I'm telling you, this young man is close. He tells me things, experiences he has, things Hashem tells him, and I'm like, wow. So I told him, you are somebody and we need you. We need your powers for good. We need your powers for love. We need your powers for redemption. And just like you cannot quit on the IDF or the American Army, he was in the American Army as well, please don't quit on us. Please don't quit on us. But at the same time, like I said in the beginning, can we be everything and nothing all at the same time? Can we be Klum? Yes. Do we need to find a way to be a little bit Klum? To keep ourselves grounded to that which we cannot even know? Yes. But remember, in that, we are striving to be connected to everything. Being striving to connect to all great love and happiness. So let's, let's encourage.